ginger and uh, to my surprise nice ripe honey berries or house cap berries yeah sometimes they sneak up on your berries I didn't realize they were ripe already and the birds love these they tend to get a lot These are all the plants I'm keeping on the homestead here. And some of these are for sale though. Look at them, beauties. They're blooming. They open and close each day. Nice variation of colors. Zanies. Sturtium. One tray of these massive eggplants that were under lights pretty much the whole time to the last well, it's not five days they've been out in the greenhouse they wilted at first but they came right back that just goes to show how um, fast things will grow if it's their perfect conditions regulated conditions light no stress compared to the others these been in the greenhouse for over two weeks much smaller uh, these are larger containers here as well, so I do have kept a few in the lighthouse most of the time. These are orange sun, it just happened to be that way for space and whatnot. Really nice growth under the lights. These guys are doing pretty well too. These ones were in the greenhouse longer, they're starting to catch up. A little bit lighter, just from a little bit cooler temperature. Hot wax were under lights for quite a long time too, and they went flowering right away. I always have trouble keeping my peppers from flowering. I've tried different light periods as well, and but a lot of these um, banana type peppers, and uh, it seems like these hot wax too, they're setting. I guess they didn't need uh, pollination, or they're setting something, anyways. Looks like it's staying. These will find these in the next few days. The tomatoes, this is a really nice size, they're eight in a tray. Perfect for tomatoes. I've done tomatoes in one gallons as well, but these are nice because eight fit in a tray and still uniform. Perfect amount of space really to get that size of tomato, which that's the ideal size I like to plant. I've done peppers in there as well, an eggplant would be very nice, but you know, limited to a bit of space, so pepper seem to work quite nice. Uh, <coughs> and these extra deep, three or three and a half inch by five about. So yeah. Kale, cabbage, parsley. It's going to be transplanted. Good sage. Collards. Perennial arugula. Russian tarragon. Lettuce. Chard. Kale. Napa cabbage. Let's put up this little cold frame to keep all the cold crops in. And we have our other greenhouse off the house here. All the stevia, echinacea, onions, 
the Lordy Torchlight Perennial. The bees are absolutely loving this torchlight. Here. Still need to green up a little bit. It's uh, May 7th. Some stuff is doing pretty well. Needs another week to really look superb. Nasturtiums are ready. Purple basil. Uh, winter savory. Summer savory. And there's the sage. going for myself, eh? A bunch of basil. And all the tomatoes. Eggplant. Need another week or so to really green up. Doing alright though. I just adjusted. Take a while sometimes with peppers and eggplants to adjust transitions. Even really nice some of this uh, basil varieties here. This lettuce leaf one. And, uh, this is cinnamonette, I think. Yeah, cinnamonette. Really nice one. And a dwarf tree genipes. Some more Russian tarragon. Yeah, we got some zinnias down here. This is my spring greenhouse here. Let's open the door up here. And we got gas heat inside the house there and Heats the whole place, so we just uh, took out the big table in the middle that was covering these beds and uh, planted these boxes here. We've still got a back shelf for starting more seeds, a bunch more cukes, and some more squash planted up. A few things for some people. Try to stevia there. So we got cukes planted with our red sweet bell peppers and King of North red sweet bell. I'm planting super close together. <laughs> got 14 down the row there. 10 feet, 14 peppers. And uh, we got two rows of uh, long English type cukes on either side. We've got um, eight down each side. And they're gonna be trellised like that over to this wall curved on either side, up over to there, we're going to have uh, uh, pickling cucumbers along there, it's my asparagus bed that's developing, uh, it's, cucumbers work good with uh, asparagus in the beginning, and that's what I did last year, works well again, now we're going to do that again. So we're in the spring greenhouse and we just made up this nice peat box uh, with peat moss and some topsoil and a bunch of manure and slow release bone meal and 464 sustain uh, fertilizer and we're going to be planting some cucumbers. We have a burpless F1 variety, got two of those and summer dance. Uh, we've got Sweet Success hybrid um, version of Sweet Success and we have Progress which is also a hybrid so all hybrids uh, for the long English type kinks this year for some reason that's just kind of how it went I haven't um, 
save seed yet for, for cucumbers, so obviously we'll need to look into um, some good uh, older varieties um, that I can save the seeds from. Uh, but for now, yeah, I do like some of the hybrids. They work out pretty nice, so uh, lots and lots of cucumbers. Do a whole bunch of juicing. Uh, really great for that. Costs a fortune if you buy them from the store, especially now. For juicing, you can go through a lot of them, so. I believe this one is a burpless. This is, wow, that's a nice one. Progress. Summer dance and a couple of burpless. Let's add some extra seed. What a funny name, burpless. I don't know there's too much difference, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, pretty nice though. Got a bunch of this nice deep box here with some stations. I'd say there might be a couple ready of those. It's nice to get them when they're not swollen too much. These are all pretty nice. Second big harvest, about three days later. 15 cucumbers there. There's tons more coming. A couple days, two days, there'll be a handful more. In one day, some of these will be ready.
Cinderella beat. This works really great for uh, doing beet transplants. Nice and deep, make a nice uh, taproot <clears throat> path for the Cinderella beets. I had got my onions in a little bit earlier again. It's uh, end of close to end of May. Could have been in a lot earlier, but yeah, we'll get some medium-sized onions. Some leeks down there too. Lots of red tropina. Some uh, some blush hybrid variety. It's a crossover with a red and a yellow. Blush, and we got a few uh, yellow globe, which um, might actually not be the right location to grow these. These are um, probably would bulb out better closer to the 35th parallel. They um, are an in-between variety. Um, so down south, you want to grow the. Uh, short day onions and up north here you want to grow the long day but these are a in between so they may just work for uh, more of a green onion or a small bunching onion that's all right just got two of those I got some walla wallas yeah we're gonna plant these out with the uh, cabbage beets and uh, onions together under a row cover Red tropina. Sustain 